beginning work on replacing the headlight that we broke in the Abadez. So it kept the same connector. So it's going to be easy to fit the other light and just do one more wiring. This is what I had done. Clips with shrink tubing fitted onto the original wiring. So easy, quick replacement. So I use these, I call them self-soldering with a heat gun. I use a Dremel gas torch. In a minute you'll see how it's done. So with the torch I melted the glue which you can see is blue and black and the solder onto the wires inside. Really the fastest way to do this. And these days I got a little bit better. I don't use insulating tape but this silicon self amalgamating tape. Once you've wound it on, it within 24 hours it will amalgamate into one solid piece and it's completely waterproof. So now it's all heat shrink wrapped. Well, no, it's heat shrinked and then we're going to wrap it like that. And then we're done. You can assemble the light and get on with life. So now here it is wrapped with the self amalgamating tape. Within 24 hours it will be completely solid, one piece. So I had to make this little tab because it seems one is missing. Maybe went missing in the impact of the tree. Here we go. So go on that light and then she'll be fitted. And that's a little tab in place coupled with those other two. That's all we need to hold the light in place. Thought I'd change the bulbs on these CV Oscars. They look pretty bad with these black marks on them. So I've got some new blue white ones. Put those in. And I had silicone these and tried to fix them, pr protect them from rainwater. But you can see this is even after scraping with the screwdriver. Not very nice. So I've sandblasted this. That's why all this sand crap everywhere. But I've sandblasted this and it's a lot better. Okay, you have to test this way. This side proved to be easier because the H4 connector was there. So all I had to do was plug it in. And that's it. It's working. These are hazards working now. Yep, perfect.